In today's video, I'm going to be discussing $1,200 monthly adult checks and why these types of payments are highly likely. That's the focus of the video. Let's get into it and talk through all the details. All right, now this whole idea of ongoing monthly checks for millions upon millions of people all across the country is certainly not a new idea whatsoever. In fact, if you've been watching the videos here on the channel for a while now, you've certainly heard me talk about ongoing monthly checks that are no strings attached. In fact, all across the country right now, there are many of these different programs going on. And this whole idea and concept of adult monthly checks, again, is not a new one. There's a bunch of these people out there right now who are suggesting we need to implement this sooner than later. Well, that's exactly what I wanna talk about here in this video because these types of payments are actually highly likely even though right now it may seem like, ah, I don't know if I'm ever gonna get something like this. Well, let's talk about the details of this because some major, major changes are coming in to our economy, not only domestically right now, but globally as well. And it's uh, pretty surprising to see what's actually going on, which is why I continue to say that these types of payments are actually very highly likely and lawmakers have in their possession right now legislation to do exactly that. Well, I want to break it all down for you here in this video and explain exactly what is going on. So let's jump into it and talk about what's going on. However, really fast before we do, can I ask a huge, huge favor of you? If you have not done so yet, or if you happen to be new here, welcome and thanks so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Will you please make sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button right down below the video. It's totally free to do so. I'm here for you every single day. I'm watching the headlines, doing the research, advocating on your behalf, answering questions, doing anything I possibly can to keep you posted of what's actually going on right now. As we all get it, finances of the most people right now are really, really tough. And most people have how much money? Yeah, zero. That's the answer. Zero dollars is how much money most people have right now. It's a tough situation. So anyway, these ongoing monthly checks would help a ton of people in a major, major way. So again, please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. I'm here for you no matter what. I'll keep you posted everything going on. Um, yeah, so again, thanks so much for watching. I truly appreciated this. And uh, let's get into it and talk about these ongoing monthly checks in the amount of $1,200 or anything thereabouts for adults and things like this, okay? All right, so again, I do wanna clarify as well why these types of payments are highly likely. And I also wanna to allude to and talk about the legislation that lawmakers do have in their possession right now, where they're suggesting exactly this, okay? All right, so first off, Think of guaranteed basic income programs, okay? You've heard me talk about them before in other videos, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna talk about them a ton here in this video, but basically the whole purpose of guaranteed basic income programs is to identify a certain group of people who need extra money, and then they basically say, okay, here are these ongoing monthly checks, no strings attached, and you can use it however you see fit for your personal situation, right? No micromanagement, but rather, hey, if you just wanna use it on food, if you wanted to use it on rent, if you wanna save it, if you wanna buy a car, whatever it literally doesn't matter they just say here here's some extra money we know that you need it and um, that's what they do with these guaranteed basic income programs there's lawmakers that suggest that we need to do this on the nationwide level as well now to be 100% fair, right now, on the nationwide level, no, there's not a guaranteed basic income program. On the nationwide level, however, they've talked about it and they're suggesting it. Now, there's also lawmakers that are suggesting, uh, we should probably do this sooner than later because the major, major economic shifts are coming in right now and uh, we need to be prepared for that and we need to establish these programs prior to this actual major shift coming in because it's coming and it's like a tidal wave. It's coming fast and there's not much we can do about it. Just get out of the way, right? So anyway, that is what they're suggesting here. Now, it all comes down to, and maybe you've heard me talk about this before in other videos, but I've alluded to it a few times, which is AI, artificial intelligence, robotics, uh, automation, sophisticated computers, right? Basically machines taking over uh, major sectors of the economy and basically putting a ton of people out of work. In fact, I've seen major statistics. I've seen huge swings in statistics. I've seen numbers coming out suggesting within the next five years, 27.5% of our uh, workforce is going to be eliminated because of robotics, automation, AI, things like that, okay? 27.5% in the next five years. That's a number that I've seen. I've also seen numbers upwards of 80% within the next 10 to 15 years, okay? That's massive. I don't know about that, but if that's the case, um, <laughs> we're gonna be in a bad situation, right? That's gonna be a really rough situation for a lot of people if 80% of the people are out of work because they've been replaced by a robot. Uh, that's gonna be a tough situation, right? I don't know about numbers that high, but realistically, I would not be shocked one bit to see 27.5% completely replaced. Um, maybe not in five years, but maybe, I don't know, 10 years, I would not be shocked one bit to see that happen, right? And if that is the case, 
then they need to establish these guaranteed basic income or these ongoing monthly checks like this that I'm talking about here in this video because this is the kind of the safety net that people need to fall back on uh, in conjunction with unemployment benefits. Now remember, unemployment, yes, it is a thing, it's available, but you know, not everybody can get it. And if you can, it's only a small fraction of the income that somebody was receiving. Um, it's a percentage of that. And again, there's time limits. You can only get it for so long, right? Well, that is exactly where these ongoing monthly checks, uh, in this case, would actually step in and do this. Now, let me really quickly explain the, the legislation that's out there in Congress right now that they have out there that they introduced and um, what this would actually do. Now, this legislation suggests $1,200 ongoing monthly checks for five years per adult. Okay, so $1,200 per adult, uh, provided their income is below $75,000 a year as an individual or $150,000 a year as a married couple. Now, a couple things that I wanna point out about this really quickly. First off, in my opinion, I don't foresee lawmakers coming through and uh, passing $1,200 a month. That seems like a lot per person. That'd be $2,400 a month for a married couple. That just, in my opinion, I'm not saying it's too much. I would certainly be very glad to get that, right? We'd all be very glad to get that. But I think if lawmakers were to do this, I think they would probably negotiate that down quite a bit. That's just my opinion on that. Now, the income thresholds as well, I also think would be negotiated down because in my opinion, 75 grand a year as an individual is not low income, okay? That's just my opinion. 150, 150 grand a year, uh, for a married couple, again, in my opinion, I'm sorry, that is not low income in my opinion, okay? I think that is a, a pretty decent income, and that's a you know a, an income that a lot of people would be very, very happy with, right? But anyway, these are the thresholds that they have in place right now. And again, if you want to look this up, it's called the Support Act. Feel free to look it up if you'd like to. Um, Support Act, that's the name of it if you want to look that up. So um, anyway, there's a lot of people out there that are suggesting this, lawmakers included, that are suggesting we need to establish these guaranteed basic income programs and we need to establish some type of safety net floor on income in the event and when, realistically what we should be saying is when this whole thing happens as far as AI, essentially taking over massive parts of the economy and um, replacing a lot of people from their jobs, okay? So this is something that's happening and um, it's trickling in. It's uh, it's happening faster than we could believe right now. There's not been a huge impact on employment yet, but uh, it's only a matter of time. That's one of the scary parts about this is all of a sudden when this whole thing uh, you know comes in and it starts to expand more rapidly, we're gonna see massive, massive um, implementation of this across major sectors. And we're gonna see like a major, major wiping out, a major elimination of jobs for a lot of people. And that's gonna be very scary. That's why lawmakers continue to say, we need to establish this ongoing monthly payment and these, uh, you know, these $1,200 adult checks or whatever dollar amount that they would, uh, they would implement and approve, they would need to establish that soon is because of all this. Does that make sense? So anyway, I know it seems weird, like, well, oh, this isn't happening. Uh, just look it up, okay? If you don't believe me in any of this stuff, feel free to look it up, do some research on your own. But yes, this is happening very quickly. And um, yeah, this whole AI, artificial intelligence thing is expanding very rapidly. It's very smart. And a lot of times there's, there's, <laughs> There's times out there that you can't even tell if it's a real human or if it's AI that you're you're talking to or that you're listening to. It's weird, right? So it's only getting more sophisticated as we move forward into the future. So this one I want to share with you really quickly. Of course, I will continue to watch everything very closely. As you get more details on anything, I will bring it to your attention right away. So again, if you haven't done so, please subscribe down below. Totally free to do so. Share the video with your friends on my social media. There's a share button right down below as well. Go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel in the video library or down below in the description or the top of the comment section. I've hand selected some videos for you there. Check those out. Otherwise, right now on your screen, you'll see some videos popping up. Make sure to check out one of those. So go ahead and make your selection now. And in just a second, I will see you in the next video. Enjoy your day. Take care and...